Hi, it's Benson Simmons again, award-winning Canadian actor and acting teacher. And what you're watching will be, will be picking up the middle of an acting lesson where I'm inspiring my students across Canada and in L.A. to take risks and go out there and book those acting jobs. Or if, uh, if I get you turned on and it's a power scene and I'm trying to get you turned on so that you're into me, so that you start thinking about me in a different way and then I can, I can fuck you over because, it's, because my objective is I need you to give me back my power, then that's what I will do. But on every line, every line can be broken down into an action. And it's really important because then you can monitor it. Okay, if my action is to get this guy to laugh, then if it doesn't happen... I'm going to have a natural reaction and that's going to push me even harder to try something else. Maybe I'll try to laugh, get him to laugh even more. Maybe I'll switch and get him to be impressed with me that I'm, that I'm really uh, smart and try to say something to impress him. Or, again, I'll try to get him to talk so he feels comfortable opening up to me or, or whatever it is. But then I can monitor it on every... And that's what we do. You're on a date, you want to say something clever and she doesn't laugh and you sit there and go, fuck... That was really stupid. And then you tried something else. And that's the whole point is you take it in, but you're still going after the objective. And that's where, again, that's where the obstacle comes in. You say something on a date, it doesn't work. And inside you're thinking, she thinks I'm an idiot. I want to just disappear. What am I going to do? But you don't play that. You turn around and go, okay, try something else. And you keep trying. And that's what we love to watch is we love to watch the person who is trying to overcome his obstacles in order to win the objective. And that's what you got to take into the, into the room with you. Uh, of course, what you need is you need to have that be super strong. So you need to go into that room and need to change that person. And that's what stakes are about. That's what high stakes are about. So again, we have tools for that. We have something called a moment before. A moment before is when you would imagine, say you need someone to love and support you. What you do is you imagine a time either with that substitution or with someone Someone else when that person didn't give you what you want. So if I need if I need you to love and validate my career, I could take an example of my worst audition ever when I felt totally like a piece of shit, and then or when I didn't get love and support from the substitution from my dad. Say I'm using that example. Then what I would do is I would take that in. I would feel that. I would feel how awful that feels to not get that love and support, not get that validation. Then what I do is I turn it around and I go, okay, in this scene, you're going to change because I need that validation because I don't want to feel like that anymore. Tony Robbins says, we'll avoid anything. We'll always avoid, we'll do something to avoid what's the most painful. So we set up a situation where we remember something that was painful and we go, no, in this, I'm going to turn this around and you're going to love me. You're going to think I'm amazing. You're going to think I'm funny, charming, smart, whatever. You're going to validate me. You're going to give me what I want so I don't have to feel feel that way again. And the other way to get high stakes, the other way to, to make sure that why is it important when you walk in that audition room that you get that objective as the character? And given, again, say we're working with love and support, why is that important? And there's a technique of just writing out what's called an emotional diary, which is simply, I need whoever the substitution, say in my case, I'm using my dad, I need my dad to love and support me in my career because, you just write that out. And then what you would do is say, if I don't get my dad to love and support me in uh, my career then, and you just write nonstop, 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 nonstop. And what happens is what comes out is all the reasons, if I don't get my dad to love and support me, then every time I go to an audition room, I'm never going to get it because they're always, they're going to see somebody who just doesn't believe in themselves enough and doesn't get that support. So then and that's what drives you. And you go, fuck, fuck that. This time I'm going to walk in there and you're going to give me what I want. And you have that need to do that. So when you walk into an audition, if you're feeling, if you're feeling nervous, like any actor's not nervous when you go into an audition, but what if you've got those feelings of like, whatever you're feeling, sometimes you're more nervous, sometimes you're less nervous, right? But you've got those feelings of nervousness. What you do is you channel them into your objective. You go, fuck, why am I feeling nervous? Okay, I guess I don't feel supported. Okay, who wasn't supporting me? Go back to the root. And it's like you're blaming somebody like your dad, but you're using that to go, 
channel that into a need to have that person say you're using again love and support and I'm using my dad to support my career then you would go after that and channel even more so you take all that nerves you turn it around and go mm, you are going to love me in this scene hey how you doing that's your first if your first action is again make the person uh, feel good about themselves or hey how are you really nice to see you whatever that is I'm going to use all that power that emotional need and make that person change and that's what it's about basically again we've this is I know I've thrown all kinds of stuff at you but basically that's what it's about is having the need the emotional need to go in and change the other person and have them give you your objective and then what becomes important is how deeply you're willing to work because again you you know you can use a substitution that's kinda of like yeah yeah okay or you can use something that drives you absolutely crazy and the idea of doing it just brings up so much that's the stuff to use and that's again what's important to have a great teacher is to help bring that out to help you figure that out to help call you on your on your stuff so that you are constantly being an effective actor making effective choices which means going after an objective having a strong obstacle having a substitution that's really meaningful that's powerful that really gets you going having uh, inner objects that you use that are the strongest because again when you go into an audition whenever the nerves are on your onset whatever you've got to have the strongest inner objects not just the the polite stuff but really strong inner objects hearing stuff that really hurts saying stuff that you've never even said before that you would that you you, you want to explore what it would be like if that person that substitution were to hear you say these words um, and then having a strong action cannot 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 say that enough it's the most important thing because there isn't anybody that I know that that doesn't need tweaking in terms of coming up with clever interesting actions based on going after what you want and again what the interesting choices are not choices that you put on the interesting choices come from you at a really deep level going after something from somebody that you that means something to you and that's the stuff that comes out that's the magic but you can only bring that stuff out organically if you're digging deeply and trying to to really explore what you would do with again a substitution so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a audition that I put on tape for a Canadian film which booked me the part and I want you to watch it I want you to see the objective I want you to see the actions I'm doing on every line I want you to see if you can see the obstacles etc and watch that and that's how we've incorporated all the things I've talked about so enjoy that and we'll see you again soon no 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 there shall be no curse. For he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, well, let him be righteous Commander, still. Visitors. Achalal! So sorry. We're almost finished. Ah, Mr. Galileo. I call him Galileo because your partner loves to stare at the sun. Yes, violence and death fascinate him. One problem, Galileo went blind, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate your concerns. Can we get on with the passbooks? You are now free to travel the territories administrated by the Christian Falange Party. Thank you. Oh, and Galileo, remember that the most important rule for survival is don't take sides. Quite easy to remember, hmm? I reported on crimes committed by your men as I would any other man. You choose sides, you lose all protection. Don't choose sides. Ah! Mr. Galileo, come, come! This is the only way you could think of helping your people? More killing? I have no choice. Oh, you had a choice! Not to murder these people, children, old men, women. If they are Muslim, then they are nothing but dust. God, in your obsession to avenge, you've lost everything. You have no idea what a human being is. <laughs> words, simple, stupid words. Leave now, or you both die here. <laughs> 